I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's huge. I'm notorious. Welcome to Rod Dog Adventures and a big welcome back to the Rod Dog Pack, baby. In today's adventure, everything from fighting gale force winds, getting rained on, catching a trophy fish and cooking up next to the highway. This is a crazy adventure and I hope you sit back, relax and join me. Today we got the sickest mission guys. We are at the Torbay Inlet. I've never fished here in my life, but apparently it's got some good fishing for a fish called a King George Whiting, and they are the best eating. I've got the stuff packed in the back to make some quality fish and chips, guys. Uh, we just need to catch the fish. So here's, here's our plan. The coffee grinder reel, spinning setup with a little jerk bait, and then on the bait caster, we got a little paddle tail with some split shots there. Goal number one, guys, catch a fish, cook a fish, somewhere cool. That's it for today. I have never been here before. I have no idea what I'm working with. Let's do this. Yeah, that wind is too So we're just gonna drift with the wind. All right, to start with, a little paddle tail. Just gonna send that behind me. Both rods out under my arms. Just gonna troll the lure until we get around the bend. So hopefully there's a bit of a relief from the wind. Hopefully one of these rods under my arms just goes whack, and then we've got a big fish. So I put on the, the good old prawn lure guys. Surely flicking this into the little holes. Surely sooner or later guys, something's gonna get hit. We need to break this curse badly. There must be fish. There has to be. There has to be. Obviously it's gonna start raining. Man, I just feel like the, the climate is just out to get me. Like it's specifically times and cycles in order to disrupt my fishing. But we're not gonna give up. This is what they call big fish weather. So hopefully that holds true. Right guys, we've got fish on. I have no idea what it is. Oh no. Jeez guys, oh it's huge. <laughs> I can absolutely not believe this. This fish is by far my personal best by a long shot. Check out this thing's teeth, guys. Look at that. This is a monster, bro. I put the lip gripper on him because I'm notorious at losing fish next to the next to the boat. But guys, this fish is crazy. Yo, man, I can't believe it. I'm gonna quickly get a measurement on him. I'm gonna take that as 40 centimeters, but it's a little bit over, boy, <laughs> yeah. This is really a special fish to catch. Um, but here's the thing, guys, I'm not gonna cook this fish up. I just decided this morning, I'm gonna come out and just see what we can happen. And I did not think I was gonna get a 40 centimeter broom. This is the respectful part of fishing. This is a very old fish. I think this fish could be up to 20 years old and it's probably a major breeder. So this little dinosaur, when they get old, they get this golden color, but that is an absolutely beautiful fish. He's gonna go right back. <laughs> boy, man. <laughs> Shout out to uh, my boy, Reese. He was like my fishing partner from when I was tiny. And we always, always said when it's rainy and pretty shit weather like this, big fish weather boy and today it was man so shout out Reese boy big fish weather finally came out of 999 times of us saying no this is big fish weather boy 990 times it was not but today it was so we got the big fish Reese so the plan is now spinning rod 
I'm going to just cast out a tiny paddle tail. The plan is once again, I'm going to send the paddle tail, big paddle tail behind me. It's been a grind after that one fish, haven't had any luck. I just paddled so far, all the way up here against the wind. It's been a long day now and I've really tried and tried and tried and tried and paddled and tried and tried and tried. And then I tried some more and then yeah, still no luck. So you're probably wondering to yourself, Robin, why am I looking at a highway? Well, it's because I can't leave you guys without a cook up. So desperate times call for desperate measures, baby. We are literally in the middle of nowhere, right next to the highway, guys. We're on our way up to Perth because I'm going to run a marathon on Sunday. Severely underprepared, but we'll see what happens. I can't believe I didn't get another fish, but I told you I won't leave you without a cook up. Look at that golden crispy, these potato wedges are going to bang. Here's the taste test. Got a good little nugget there. Let's go. Mm. Every damn time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to never leave you guys without a cook up. Thank you so much for watching this far, and I'll see you on the next adventure.